Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. Today's game up on the tabletop is sponsored by The Game Crafter. The game is called Sneeze, and it plays two to six players. It takes about 30 minutes or less to play, and it's for ages 12 and up. And in the game Sneeze, you're basically going to get to get a hand of cards, and these cards are going to be nasty things like Leprey, or E. coli, or Streptococcus, or Anthrax, Clostridium, all these things that you're not necessarily going to want to get. And it's the perfect time of year to go ahead and talk about a game like this, because I'm just getting over being sick. In the game, you'll get a certain amount of cards in your hand, you'll draw a card to start your turn, and then play a card. You'll play a card either in front of you, if you have to, or towards one of your opponents, if you're able to. You try to be not too sick to win, and being too sick to win is having too many different diseases in front of you or being played on you. And if you're the only person at the beginning of a turn to not be too sick to win, you are the winner of the game. It's a fairly simple game in concept with some interesting take that and family game mechanics. Let's go ahead and take it down below. I'll show you what you get in the game, how to play, and then I'll tell you my review. So here we have the game Sneeze and everything included when you pick up the game from the Game Crafter in the link in the description below. There is the box for the game as well as the back that tells you how many players, the time, and how many, how many people, ages, what and up should be able to play this game. You got the rule book, which explains the game fairly easily. It's a pretty simple game, which we'll go ahead and explain in a second here. And then of course, all of the cards in the game. And this game is fairly simple. You're going to start by moving these over and you're going to shuffle this deck up. After that, you're going to then deal out three cards to each player. So I've already went ahead and shuffled this anyway, so I'm just going to do this. Now, if we're playing with uh, three players, we'll go ahead and deal out three cards to each player. Yep. And then set the deck aside. Now, begin by choosing a player, and I would suggest beginning with the player who was most recently sick, which would be me. So they are going to go ahead and take their hand of cards. You can play with either side. It doesn't matter. And then they're going to draw a card and play a card. Some cards are going to be medicines or things like antibodies that will help you or yourself and other players. And then, of course, the main sets of cards are going to be colors and some type of virus or infection. Now, you can only play a card on your opponents if you have a color or type of card in your hand that matches uh, the one on your field. So right now, unfortunately, you don't have that. Additionally, you can only play colors on your opponents that they don't already have. So I'll have to begin by playing this on myself. Then the next player is going to get to go. They'll draw a card. And once again, they're going to go ahead and play something like, uh, I don't know, how about tuberculosis? And we'll follow it up here. Another card. Uh, that one right there. Okay, then it's going back to this player here. Okay, so now as you can see, I've got blue, I've got purple, and red. Which means if I had Lepre or if I had this teal color in my hand, I could play it on one of these guys here. But I don't, which means I have to keep playing cards on myself. I'm going to play tuber tuber Tuberculosis on myself because I have a medicine here, which will let me cure it next turn if I need to. Now it's this guy's turn. Draw a card. Okay, Tuberculosis. Do I have any Tuberculosis in here? I don't. Do I have any black cards to give? I don't either. So I'll play E. coli. Next turn, next player. Draw a card. Okay, so we have Lepre. Nope, and no other yellow. So I'll go ahead and play Streptococcus because I have a green antibody. All right, now back to this player's turn here. He'll draw a card. Okay, so he's got tuberculosis and lepre. Nope. So he can then play medicine. Cures all blue infections, which will cure all blue infections on the table, but he's the only person who has one, so that will get discarded. Moving on to the next player. And you're just going to keep this up. It's pretty simple here. Uh, e. coli, tuberculosis. None of these here are E. coli or tuberculosis. So I'm going to have to go ahead and play here. There's also no colors of these types. So I'll play Listeria. This guy's turn here. He'll draw a card. Green antibody, which means it just clears that specific anti that specific streptococcus from him. So he'll go ahead and discard that. Back to this player's turn here. Draw a card. Come on. Nope. So he's going to have to play a card on himself. And then back to this player's turn here. Okay, finally we have something interesting that we can do. So I have this teal here, and this player has teal, but this one doesn't. So I can play a teal card onto another player. I'm sneezing this color onto him. Now, if he had teal as well, I could not play this card on him. But because he does not have it, I can play that, which is pretty nice. Moving on to this player over here. I've got two E. coli's, three E. coli's, and also three different colors, none of them matching mine. So I'll play this one, so that way I can medicine this, e co this purple e, e. coli. And we'll keep going here. All right, so what, Listeria? I do, have, I do have red now, and neither of these players have red, so I can actually go ahead and give this red to one of these players. So I'll give it to this guy over here. And the game's just going to keep going like that. Eventually, when every player 
other than yourself, hopefully, gets five. Oh, can't use that. Let's see if I can find another color for him. Five different types of diseases in front of them, and you're the only person who doesn't have that, you are going to win. If you have five or more, you're too sick to win. Anything less, then you are not too sick to win, which in this case, this player would win, provided the beginning of a turn happened and this looked like this. It's pretty simple as to how it goes. It's just going ahead and throwing cards back and forth with each other, trying to stave off from being too sick and making everybody much too sick in order to win the game. Sneeze. So let's talk about Sneeze. But before we get into the review, let's talk about a couple other things in the deck that you may not have seen. Now, of course, you've seen the antibodies, which will only affect you, and they are good. They'll help you get rid of whatever color this specific one is. Then you're gonna get the basic types of infections like staph infection and the type of color. There are the medicines which can cure any color of infection and it's the only way to cure pink, I believe. No, rainbow is the only way to cure pink. This is what cures everything else. Pink is a hard one to cure. Things like handshake where you can move an infection of yours to another player because you gave them a nice little handshake. And things like the doorknob where you can pass another infection to another player. And then finally, this is the pink, which is just a hard one to get rid of. But there are certain cards in the deck that will let you go ahead and do that. I think they're called rainbow antibodies. So, something like that. That could actually save you. But otherwise, very difficult to get rid of. This is the first party game the Game Crafter has sent us. And this is one of the first party games in quite some time I've really enjoyed playing. We've played this many, many, many times. We even played this on a live stream, which if you'd like, you can watch last Wednesday's live stream or if you're watching this in the future, you can go on Facebook, check out Filter Gamer, and see our Sneeze live stream where we played this game along with a couple others that you may have seen from our reviews. And overall, it's just a lot of fun. It's a simple game that doesn't take a lot of strategy, doesn't take a lot of know-how, but it, certain choices you make are going to make a big difference in the game, and it's something you can fill in with another game or play multiple times over and over again. It's a nice conversation starter, it's a nice icebreaker game, and it's, of course, a nice family game if nobody's played anything but something like Uno or those other basic, basic card games. This is a good starting off point for a family game that's also a party game that has some fun. And I think just because of the time of year where I got this game, where I'm literally just getting over having a cold and all that, it's just kind of funny. We were doing our sick live stream and playing our, our game that actually causes people to get sicknesses and flus and whatnot. I really enjoyed this one here. I also like the fact that it has two tones. One is just the color here, so you start it with like this, and then whenever you sneeze it onto somebody, you actually give them this card this way. Uh, it doesn't say that, but I'm guessing that's how it functions, because you have like the snotty side and the side where it's actually inside your body. And the game's just really easy. I don't know, I don't know, I just really, really enjoyed this little party game. It's a lot of fun. I think for the most part, if you have kids, family members, people you want to play at things like Christmas and whatnot, this is going to be one you can easily pull out and people can get into, and it plays up to six players. I strongly suggest you get the game. Go ahead and check it out down below in the description, in the link in the description below. It's currently on Game Crafter. It's called Sneeze. You can't miss it. I really, really recommend this for a party game. If you haven't played a lot of them and you don't have a lot of them specifically, this is one to check out.